In this lesson, we're going to talk about creating and editing text in BricsCAD. Before we begin to create text, let's spend a few moments talking about text styles. Located next to the coordinate readout on the status bar is a button for the current text styles. If I right-click that button, I can see all of the text styles available. I can go to Properties as well, or I can simply left-click on the button and launch the Drawing Explorer. This will take me to the text styles category. Here the text styles are listed. We can see which style is current. And I want to point out that the standard style has zero height associated with it. While the other text styles, such as Notes Labels and Notes General, have specific heights. When a text style has zero for the height, you're going to be prompted to enter a height and when the text style has a specific height value associated, you will not be prompted for the height when creating the text. All of these other properties can be saved in the text style. And as a result, any drawing entities that are associated with the text style will have those properties. Okay, let's go ahead and first create the first text in our drawing. We're going to start with the single line text command, and I'm going to snap to the center of this call out here. And notice that for text, I'm being asked for the height of the text. I'm going to enter a value of 8 and press Enter. And for the text, we're going to enter the letter A. Let's go ahead and zoom in and see how that positioned. Let's go ahead and repeat the command. This time we're going to choose middle. Again, select the center point of the text. For height, we're going to enter a value of 18. And for the text, a value of B. So notice how it's so now we're going to select the other text item and we're going to change its justification to middle as well as its text height to 18. Let's go ahead and change our current text style to notes labels and then we're going to move to a different area of the drawing and let's go ahead and place a single line text at the top of these notes. Notice here I'm not being asked for a text height because the text style has been assigned a height. So here we're going to accept the default rotation angle and or enter the text that we need. Press enter twice to exit the command. And the next thing that we're going to do is pan down and let's go ahead and add some additional text here. This time we're going to use the multi-line text command. And I'm going to turn my entity snaps off. So I can select near this circle but not on the circle. Enter the text that we need. Here I'm going to highlight the text so I can change the height that's associated with it. Uncheck the bold and italic options and set the justification to bottom right. And finally, I'll tweak the width of the text area. That breaks it down to a single line. And then I'm going to use the match properties command to match the layer properties. Moving up, back up to the general area of the drawing, general notes area of the drawing. We're going to add another line of multi-line text, roughly estimating the size of the rectangle as shown. And then for expediency, I'm going to copy and paste the text that we need here, changing the text style to Notes General.
And then I'm just going to paste the text that we need to type here. Go ahead and click OK. Now I'll select the text and using the grips, adjust the width of the paragraph to reduce the number of lines. Selecting the leftmost grip repositions the text. And then again, the grip on the top right to adjust the width of the paragraph. Let's go ahead and pan up a bit and select the main body of text. First thing that I want to do is adjust the size of the paragraph by simply dragging. And then I'm going to highlight this first area of text and let's change this to a numbered list. Next, I'm going to highlight the last three sentences and select continue list. And then I want to highlight these two lines of text here and let's change that to a bulleted list. And here we're going to click and drag on the indentation markers to better align the sub bullets in the text. And let's go ahead and change the last three lines to a lettered small list. And again, clicking and dragging on the indentation markers, we can adjust the indentation to be consistent with the previous bullets. Now I'm going to click OK. And then the final thing I want to do is select this text and in the Properties palette, change the text style to Notes General. Press Escape. Text. Now let's move up this text just a bit. And this completes our lesson on creating and editing text in BricsCAD. Thank you.